We're going to use Cinema 4D and Arnold to make a worn or weathered texture. Let's start by using, uh, creating a surface, a standard surface material. We'll go ahead and apply that to our model. Double click that and we'll open the network editor. Let's go ahead and rename this. Call it green because we're going to make a green color. Looks good. Let's do a base metal color. Do another standard surface. If we run the IPR, you'll see our green material is connected to our Arnold Beauty and the object screen. So let's disconnect that and build our chrome material. We'll connect the output of the chrome material to the beauty. Let's go ahead and rename that. So our chrome material will turn the base weight down to zero. We'll leave this at one. Color, roughness, let's do 0.4. And IOR, we'll do 0.29. And if you look at the IPR window, we have a chrome material. We want to layer these two materials now. And if you're familiar with Photoshop, we're going to make um, a mask. So let's go ahead and get, let's do the layer first. We'll go ahead and get a layer shader. Add this. Let's connect the layer shader to the Arnold Beauty. And let's add our two colors that we want to layer to the layer shader. Take green, pull this down, input chrome. Let's add this. We'll add that to input. So now we're going to make the mass. So we're going to use curvature. And so you can see what curvature does. We'll disconnect our layer shader and we'll draw the curvature to the Arnold Beauty. And if you look at the IPR, this is going to basically define those edges. So we have the ability to do convex, concave, or both. I'm going to leave it on convex. Samples, we'll turn that up. That's basically quality. We'll turn that to about six. And radius is just going to define the, refine those black and white areas. I'm going to turn the radius down to about, let's look at two. And now we're really kind of getting those edges, but these are just going to be clean lines. So what I want to do is I have a, I'm going to use an image um, and connect that to the curvature uh, to make a more realistic mask. So let's do an image. And I have a picture, we'll look at these, let's do rusted metal and now I want to take the image output and connect that to my curvature and you can use radius uh, bias multiply you can play with each one and you'll get different results I'm just going to connect to the radius and you can see now in your IPR window what that's what that mask looks like so now we need to take our mask and connect that to the layer shader. So I'm going to take disconnect from my Arnold Beauty, take it to layer shader, and on layer two we're going to add it to the mix. After connected to the layer two mix, we have to take our layer shader and connect that to our Arnold Beauty. If you now look at the IPR window, you can see what that mass has done, and we have our green overlaying with that mass, just allowing some of that chrome to come through.